Hey y'all, I finally got the uh, big software release I was working on for work done, so I finally have enough time to make a short video for you guys, talking about life as we seem to do on this vlog. So, I got my sixth speech done, uh, talking about my encounters with Jake the Cake uh, as, a, as an alumni, uh, when I was a freshman and he was an alumni, so that was... Fun went over pretty well. Unfortunately, I was going up against against a good friend of mine, Chris Mason, and he gave a slightly better speech than I did on Esperanto, the universal language that makes it easy to put words together and communicate with people in, who normally speak another language because Esperanto is a good, easy-to-learn common language. So, But that was fun, uh, a nice, healthy competition there. And then Chris and I and a friend of his named Hen, went out to uh, Topeka, Kansas, where we were judges at a competition, uh, that, like a district competition for Toastmasters, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, first time I had been a, a judge for a competition rather than just a, a single evaluator for speech, and in this case I got to listen to multiple speeches and judge all of them. So that was, uh, that was a lot of fun, a different experience. So... On the way there, we saw someone had uh, take out the toll booth to the uh, the K State uh, tollway. Uh, that was uh, pretty impressive. It was like the truck had gone through the toll booth sideways. Um, so un unfortunately, as I understand it, the driver died in the impact, but the passenger was in critical condition. But uh, it was an impressive sight, having seen seeing the accident like three hours later. Uh, having taken out multiple toll booths. It, w it was impressive. <coughs> what else? Uh, let's see, I've been tidying up the code for uh, my A-star pathing algorithm. That's about done. It works pretty well. And uh, the AI competition is the 12th and 13th of April. So not this weekend, but next. So I'm looking forward to bringing a couple of guys from, from work down there. We've got uh, four or five or so who are interested in going. So that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm working on a, a small Python project with uh, a gal that I met at a hack night, which is a, kind of a monthly occurrence at work where you just kind of throw together some tiny little project. In this case, we're doing uh, word derivatives, where uh, consider uh, a word, uh, like in this case, they used uh, startling, I believe. Uh, like, you know, you scare someone. Uh, if you remove a single letter from there, uh, in this case, the, the L, uh, then you get a, another word that is also a valid word, uh, in this case, starting. If you remove another letter from that word, you get another valid word, in this case, staring. And as you keep going down, you can get to a valid word at the, uh, you know, as you keep removing letters, you're getting a valid word each time. You uh, try to get down to, a, you know, a single letter word, you know, A or I or, I can't think of any others off the top of my head, but you could evaluate to see if, the word ever gets there uh, simply by removing letters and then checking against an existing dictionary. So, excuse me, we were working on a, a, a program that handles that. We're almost done. We've got it uh, to the point where it, it will handle words recursively. However, we like using a recursive function to determine, um, actually in this case, we're not just determining if it succeeds and then passing it to the next uh, word. Um, the way my partner was writing it, she uh, was using, calling it recursively to determine if we would succeed in finding a valid word, uh, which might, I, I wonder if that'll have inter interesting performance results. But anyways, so we uh, I've got that almost working. We're still trying to figure out how, in what format we should uh, pass results back up to the calling function, if that should be like a list or like a, a um, maybe some kind of tree structure where we track which parent word was used, etc. So we're still 
um, kind of getting together occasionally to attack that problem. So that's been fun. And Saturday is a, a board game event at, at Cerner. And uh, so I'm looking forward to going to, to that. Um, Cerner people and friends of Cerner people are invited. So Katrina, you said you were doing something on the weekend. But if you weren't doing something on the weekend, I could invite you to play board games of all kinds. So that's, um, that's my week in a nutshell.